Well, hello folks, it's been a while. Doing a taste test today. I have about 72 bowls or uh, boxes of cereal that, oh yeah, see that nose? That's our St. Bernard. Um, of cereal that uh, my friend from the States has sent us that we can't get or get way later than he does. Uh, oh, couldn't figure out what the noise was. It's my wife watching TV. So today, we are gonna try Maple Cheerios, large size. Um, we have not gotten these yet in Canada, anywhere that I have seen. So they're maple syrup flavored. Syrup or syrup? That's what the question is always posted on Twitter. Anyways, my son had them this week and I waited so that I could do my taste test as I promised. So I am going to now go ahead and do it. First thing I'm gonna say, even with the box sitting way over here before I started, I can smell the maple smell coming from the box. So now we'll get to it. So, whoo, wow. That smells like IHOP. <laughs> it literally smells like the inside of the IHOP pancake house. There's like that they have maple bacon and maple syrup for the pancakes. That's what it smells like to me. Like I'm walking into some place that's got like a breakfast buffet. It's very mapley smelling. So now we'll reach in and grab a few and we got some dry. Hmm. Well, when I chew it, I don't get much for taste. But once it's gone, the aftertaste turns back to maple. Interesting. So is it real maple that they're using here? Sweet and whole grain oat cereal, flavored with other natural flavors. Other. So it doesn't say flavored with, so we got uh, ingredients, whole grain oats, sugar, brown sugar syrup, corn starch, maple syrup, salt, granola, and or sunflower oil, and then a couple of chemicals just to add freshness. So contains bioengineered food ingredients. Well, uh, how about that one? To learn more, ask about it at generalmills.com. Well, so, yeah, I still have a, a taste of maple in my mouth. And uh, we'll see. Oh, yeah, definitely a mapley smell. Um, we'll see what happens when I add milk. This is good till October 3rd, so... I'm just going to put a little cap full in because I always hate getting a... It's still good. A, a surprise when I'm drinking milk that's getting close to bye-bye time. So I won't sit here and eat the entire bowl while I'm doing my taste test. I will have a couple of bitefuls and go from there. And my St. Bernard is still watching me because he's like, Oh, I'm tired. There he is. Sniffing. Mm-hmm. Go Buckley. Go lay down. Okay, let's see what it is with milk. Well... sweet like it was when it was dry now let's see no no there's no uh, syrup aftertaste so let's just try milk and see if the milk ends up tasting like maple I can see brown in it like um like there's something in the milk no 
No. One last. So, my final judgment, I think, would be adding milk to it weakens the maple flavor. Can I tell it's there? Kinda. Does it taste like the brown sugar syrup? I would say that the brown sugar syrup overpowers the maple syrup. That makes sense. So, meh. Really, I mean, it doesn't like, like taste like when you put maple syrup on a pancake, because um, when you put it on a pancake, you taste the maple syrup. Here, it seems to get lost in the milk. Um, I could taste it better dry than I could with the milk, but I will say this. They don't taste like Honey Nut Cheerios. So, in that sense, obviously, the taste is different than uh, Honey Nut, and obviously regular, and multigrain. So, in that sense, yeah, okay, it's a different flavor. Is it super maple-y and, you know, like I said, maple syrup on a pancake? No. So, um, some people might like it. Some people are going to be, yeah, like, I'm not overly... I'll uh, have this done quick and easy and pretend that they're honey nut and go on to the next box. So with that, that is my uh, taste test of uh, maple Cheerios. So have a great weekend, everybody. Yeah, toque weather in Canada this weekend. Doodly-doo.